All right, so now we are going to be subtracting polynomials and then a little bit of both, adding and subtracting for the rest of this lesson. This is video three for lesson 5.2. So when you're subtracting, you have to be more careful and change the signs of the terms of the polynomial being subtracted and then add. And so when we work on this, I'm going to write this out, 8 minus 2a. Now I'm going to change this to a plus sign um, because minus a negative is going to make that a plus a. Minus a negative 3 is going to be plus 3. And then we just combine our like terms. So we have negative 2a and a 1a. So that's negative a. And then we have 8 and positive 3. So plus 11. Now another way you can do this, and you want to make sure that you use a different color or something, I'm going to add the opposite. So notice what happens there. And then I'm going to write this out. I have 5x squared plus 4 plus negative 7x squared plus 6. Right? And I went ahead and put the negative 7 in parentheses just to emphasize that it is negative. And now when I combine my like terms, this time I have 5x squared and negative 7x squared. Then I have plus 4 and plus 6. Not as many mistakes are made whenever you have positives. So 5 and negative 7 are negative 2, so that's negative 2 x squared plus 10. And we're finished with that one. Okay, so you see it's getting a little more complicated here. I'm going to rewrite this first one. So this is going to be 4. That's going to be minus a negative makes that a plus y to the 12y. Minus a negative 4 makes it plus 4. So we're going to put the 12y and then plus 8, right? 4 and 4. And that one is complete. So on this one, I'm going to write it out. Make this plus. That's going to be a negative and a positive. And then I can take everything out of parentheses. All right, so I'm going to have negative m squared plus 3 plus negative m squared plus 13 plus 6m squared minus m plus 1. Now I could write this as a plus negative m. I don't want to make it confusing but that's perfectly fine. And then let's see here. So I have a negative, that's a 1, negative 1m to the second. Same thing on this one try to make that a little bit straighter. And then I also have a positive 6m to the second. So those are all like terms. And then I only have one of them that is just a m to the first power. So that one, that's it. And then I have, well, let's see, use some green. Whoops. <laughs> I have a positive 3, positive 13. You guys, all these boxes and circles and stuff, are, that's just an organizational thing to help you get these right and to make sure you have the right signs. Okay, so now let's put this all together. So I have negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2 plus 6. That leaves me with 4 m to the second. Then I have a 3, a 13, and a, wait, wait, no, let's do the negative m. So I have a negative 1m because we can combine it with anything. There were no like terms for the m. And now we'll go to the numbers 3, 13, and 1. So that's 16, 17. And that's complete. Okay, just more practice. That's all this is. So we're adding and subtracting now. It could be either one. And so on the first one, let's just write it without parentheses. So I have 3x 
plus 7x. You know, if I take the parentheses off this way and I'm not having to do anything with signs, then I can just put them side by side. So 3x plus 7x. And then I have a negative 2 plus negative 2. And then 6y plus negative 1y. Ooh, we're about to crowd in over here. Okay, so I have all my like terms side by side. That makes it easy to simplify. On the x's, it's 3 plus 7, so 10x. Negative 2 plus negative 2, so that's going to be a minus 4. And then 6y plus negative 1. 6 and negative 1 would be a 5. And if you would like to write it as 10x plus 5y minus 4, or leave it the way you have it. It's fine either way. I have a squeaky chair in here. Okay, next I'm going to work with the fact that I have a negative. So this is going to make this add the opposite, right? So there's a negative, negative, positive. And now I can take it out of the parentheses. So I have an a squared plus negative 6a squared. I have negative ab plus negative 8ab, and then plus 4b squared plus b squared. So once again, I've lined them up side by side. On the first one, I have a 1 and negative 6, so that's negative 5a to the second. I have a negative 1 and a negative 8, so minus 9ab. And then last, I have the b squareds, and that's a 4 and a 1. Right, 4 plus 1, so 5b squared for that one. Okay, I think this is, yep, that's the last question. You can see it looks a little bit messy. Let's go ahead and do that where we add the opposite. So we just make this addition. It changes every sign. Okay, so now we're going to put these together. So I have a 3, oh, I didn't change, 3x squared y, and then I have an, a negative, let's see, x squared y. Oh, I have a 5 plus 5. Now notice it's written yx squared. I'm going to rewrite that as 5x squared y because it's multiplication, then the order doesn't matter. Okay, so I've taken care of, of this one and this one. Oops, that was a negative. I need to put the negative in there. Plus a negative 5x squared y. It might fool you if you don't notice that the two variables are the same, just in a different order. Okay. So I don't have a match for negative 6xy. So I'm just going to write that as minus 6xy. So that one's now gone. I have a 1x squared y squared plus negative 11x squared y squared. And then last I have negative 5 and positive 1. All right, so I've taken care of all of those. All right, well, I've rewritten all of them. I'm not really finished at all. So x squared y, that's 3 and negative 5, so negative 2x squared y. I'm going to keep negative 6xy, right? It doesn't have a match. On the x squared y squared, I have 1 and negative 11, so that's going to be negative 10x squared y squared. And then last, I have negative 5 plus 1, so that's minus 4. Okay, and that's the end of section 5.2, and the third video is complete.